Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have a ton of Monster High news to talk about. From lots of collector updates with our first look at the Hocus Pocus 3-pack, our first look at Megan collector doll, Pride Elvira, Us, surprise reveal 2-pack. We have general releases updates for Creep Productions, Mummy Majesties, G3 Genifier Core doll, and so much more. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let's get into it. Okay, first up, let's talk about updates on general Monster High releases shared by Seeing Mount on Twitter. First up, we have Monster High Buried Secrets Wave 1 Cozy Creepover. Release date sometime October of this year. Price is $14.99. Now, these Buried Secrets dolls think similar to Barbie color reveal. Uh, less articulation, basic articulation, basically. Um, less clothing. Probably gonna have like a painted on onesie, like bathing suit. And then you're gonna have like a fabric skirt or shorts or like a jacket. So probably in that same vein you know like again barbie color reveal uh more emphasis on the actual reveal gimmick um and they are gonna have new body sculpts like they're gonna have new arm sculpts you know posed in different ways um but again there's less movement less joints uh less clothing for sure and again it's just gonna be more emphasis on the actual gimmick reveal then we have the g3 jennifer long student to core doll coming november december of this year but only to retailers who have express i guess ordered her like to come as soon as possible um i do think we'll have like leaks and reveals of her this year but i think like the general release to like people also internationally will be next year like spring of 2025 for sure i don't think she'll be released like to everyone this year but of course i think for some people who will be lucky to order her you know early enough maybe we will have like a real life look of her like at the end of this year but again the general release general release for like everyone internationally speaking Speaking, is gonna be next year for sure not this year that would be like way too early uh, we don't we don't even have leaks of the doll just of her shoe so far but you know never say never let's see i am very excited to see jennifer's g3 g3 core doll um the price is also the same always like always at 24.99 us dollars next we have the monster high fright sized best of friends speculated to be a line of sibling dolls releasing sometime january and february of next year 2025 and priced at 14.99 so this definitely gives me flashbacks to monster high g2 when you know when they started to release all these random siblings to every core character like out of nowhere uh laguna cleo claudine draculaura frankie <laughs> They all had these random siblings thrust upon them in these play sets and um, it just felt, yeah, very random out of left field. So hopefully with this series, um, it won't be it won't be as random because in the series, in the animated series, they have not established any young siblings for any of the core five characters. So maybe these will be just like standalone new characters that are just, you know, younger you know monsters um i don't know I, f I just hope that it doesn't that it's not random and it doesn't feel random you know because if it really just is like oh yeah random siblings from frankie stein like it that yeah i don't I'm, I'm not gonna like that for sure because then it's really gonna feel like g2 all over again but hopefully it'll be better and the dolls will be cute hopefully um i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen but this is definitely very interesting we have updates on the brand new beetlejuice collector 2 pack coming in next year at valentine's day priced at 90 us dollars and it's gonna be once again two feminine dolls so if beetlejuice which i think he is gonna be one of these characters if beetlejuice is a part of this two pack they will be gender bent into a female character once again um but who's gonna be the second character probably lydia once again uh but the question is like what outfits are they gonna be in maybe maybe it'll be like based on the wedding look from the first movie or maybe it'll be based on the beetlejuice beetlejuice sequel movie that just released in theaters and maybe one of those two characters is actually beetlejuice and astrid who is jenna ortega's character in the sequel movie who is the daughter of lydia so yeah i think there's a lot of potential here for sure um with the outfits that they might choose with the characters obviously um i mean it's for sure that you know beetlejuice will be one of those characters uh, but who's going to be the second character? I honestly don't know. But we also have one of these uh, new shoe molds that got leaked uh, with the heels having like Delia's sculptures from the first movie. So maybe it'll actually be 
like Delia, a Delia doll in this collector in this new two pack. Um, I don't know, but these shoes look very interesting for sure. Definitely based on the Beetlejuice two pack here. Um, but let's see what happens with this two pack. Obviously, it's going to be very popular and it's going to sell out for sure because the first two pack that released sold out and now it's going up for insane prices so let's see what happens <laughs> what happens with this two pack moving on we have updates on the monster high crew productions third wave including Miality and persephone nefra torlai and operetta releasing apparently sometime next year 2025 around april 1st the two pack for Miality and persephone will be priced at 49.99 and the individual releases will be priced at 24.99 so yeah third wave of crew productions very exciting stuff um, and let's see if they actually end up releasing on April or if it'll be like a delayed release, just like what happened with the second wave of crew And we have some updates on the Monster High Pride doll, which is apparently a potential of Virus Collector doll coming June 1st of 2025 next year, priced around 65 to 75 US dollars. Now with this update, we also have a brand new pair of shoes that leaked um, that actually have the like skull and bat wings that the actual actress who plays Elvira has tattooed on her shoulder. So that means that this new pair of shoes definitely belongs to a brand new Elvira doll. Doll, which will be this new P pride collector elvira doll so that's very exciting very cool that they actually took that as inspiration from the tattoo now i'm not sure if the actual elvira character is lgbtqa plus but i do know that the actual actress who plays her is in the community so it's very exciting that this release is happening with you know combining the elvira character obviously the actress who was very involved with the first release you know she was she was on board the whole way um and now obviously with the combined release of pride month so this doll could be very cool and i just hope that the outfit is also very cool look we have some updates on the crew productions restock for series one now at first apparently it was supposed to come out at september 13th you know friday that 13th would have made sense with the whole date and significance right obviously would have been really cool but later on we did have another update saying that apparently the crew productions restock is going to be pushed back to november and for Canadian fans, apparently she's already up for uh, on a website and um, for November. So yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't know when <laughs> when this restock will actually end up happening. I mean, it seems like to me they keep pushing back the date, um, and it's really weird because like in Europe here, like for me, I checked my like recently I was at, um, at my local toy store and they had Claudine. They had Claudine just sitting there, crew production Claudine. Um, they had like a couple of her, but only her. So I do think like the restock is slowly creeping in to all stores and some stores maybe not some stores like in europe for sure um like on smith's toys i've i've definitely seen the listings for all four of them but some of them are not available so i think the restock will happen later october november for sure um so i i would not hold my breath for like a september release for the restock but definitely later dates for october november so stay tuned and definitely keep your eyes peeled for any crew productions next restock. we have updates on a monster high school ultimate secrets series of five garden mysteries a doll line coming up apparently late September to October of this year. Priced at $29.99. Obviously, we have uh, Twyla, Draculaura, and Venus in this lineup. Laguna never materialized. She didn't make it. She didn't make the cut, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we're getting these three dolls. We obviously already saw them in person in the uh, San Diego Comic-Con uh, booth and I made a whole video about that. But we also have a commercial here where we get to see them. And I have to say, I don't know, Venus looks a little bit wonky. Like maybe the makeup is like too strong, too heavy on her. But I have to say they all look really cute, honestly. And yeah, let's see when they actually end up releasing. So I guess it is like this year, like late this year and not early next year. Um, but I do think once again, it'll be depending on where you live, how accessible these dolls will become in your area. So I think for US fans they will become available like late this year like at the end but for international fans probably you know it'll be beginning of 2025 for sure then we have more information on the monster high x fashion house doll which apparently if she doesn't come out before the end of this year she just might be canceled and we might never know what this doll was all about uh the price point is around 90 to 100 dollars and the existence apparently is very similar to what series 5 of school to mid secrets laguna was at one point with the listing being found but you know laguna got cancelled before production and maybe this doll is facing the same fate maybe she will never be 
realized uh, for whatever reason. So, I mean, maybe we'll never know what this doll is really about. She continues to be a mystery. <laughs> Found on Entertainment Earth, we also have future drops listed already with the Hocus Pocus Collector Drop being one of them and then the other drop being Freddy Holiday Skeleta Doll and Skeleton Secrets Series of Five. But which is which, we are not sure. The drops are September, September 23rd and November 8th. So one of those two will be for the Hocus Pocus pack and the other will be again for Halloween. Holiday Skeleta and or Ultimate Secrets Series 5. Either way, meaning uh, at the end of September 20, you know, September 23rd, uh, whatever it'll be, there will be a drop on Entertainment Earth. So that's uh, exciting for sure. And that's also two days after my birthday. So yay. Then we have updates on the Clue Denial and Nefra Denial Mummy Majesties 2 pack that will be sold apparently already September 13th on Mattel Creations. Uh, but I believe this is only for fan club members. So um, that's today that was yesterday well whenever you're watching this september 13th i'm recording this on um well yeah saturday so uh it apparently should have been already released on mattel creations so let me know is it available right now only for fan club members or is it also a general release for everyone to buy because i for from from the look of this posting that was shared to the membership a forum i think this release this early release is only meant for fan club members but um still really exciting if you are a member but again be sure to check it out if you want to get this two pack finally because it was um you know shortly available on amazon for a early drop and i actually got my two pack like that which is insane and i reviewed them so if you want to see what they look like in real life i have a review up right now on my channel but um yeah if you want to get them yourself again fan club member probably exclusive for right now and the general release will be apparently i guess like at the end of september no real news there but i'm pretty sure by the end of september we'll have the general release for this two pack as well moving on to the collector news here starting off with the accidental reveal of the collector two pack based on the movie us directed by jordan peele i know so this was so bizarre apparently the designer jeffrey jeffrey Manjat uh was intending to share something else but then instead shared this picture basically showing us like the background illustration that, the, that they would use for the collector two pack again based on this movie us so if you don't know the movie us uh, again directed by jordan peele came out a couple of years ago um and it's basically about uh if every person had a like evil twin kind of like that i saw the movie it's re very good you should watch it if you haven't seen it already to understand more of the implications and more of the context but basically in the actual picture which i'm not showing here because again he did share the picture but he then deleted it right after so i feel like you know he deleted it i feel like mattel might not be okay with people sharing it but who knows it's mattel i feel like sometimes they don't really they don't really take action against like collector leaks or whatever so who knows but uh basically in the picture it's uh it takes place at the funhouse uh, maze you know that has a lot of mirrors and then we see like a little uh bunny we see like uh, a tree and at the very end at the very back in the middle we see these sil silhouettes of the two main characters from the movie uh so on the right we have the red character but then on the left we have the um other twin version character uh they're both played by lupita nyong'o who is amazing in the movie um but i forget the name of the actual character she plays uh i know that the evil version her name is red um but yeah so it's basically two dolls they're both gonna be based on lupita so amazing i can't wait to see what the face sculpt is going to look like is it going to be like in her likeness or not really but this is just really exciting um there's going to be again two dolls probably going to be priced around 90 us dollars both again in the likeness of lupita's face um and i think the outfits might be really simple because they are really simple in the movie but hopefully they just have really cool accessories and fun details in the design overall that kind of like you know spice up the the dolls overall um i think this is a very surprising reveal but it's very cool like i mean if they're starting to make dolls like of movies like F us by jordan peele does that mean that they might they might make a, a collector release based on other movies by jordan peele like um nope and get out like i feel like that would be so like what so surreal but still like okay cool <laughs> i don't 
don't know. Let's see. This is very cool. Obviously, um, and if you haven't watched a movie, definitely go watch the movie. It's a very good movie. Now, another school actor reveal this week was for the Megan School Actor doll. We saw her reveal basically confirm with this shoe pair, pair of shoes that leaked that have the heels of one heel has the uh paper cutter knife and then the other heel is based on the bruce robot in the movie so this base this this pair of shoes basically confirms to us that a school actor megan doll is in the works she will be coming probably more realistically next year not this year but still a, a, a megan school actor doll how insane can you believe um obviously it makes sense people have have been making customs of the megan character in monster high dolls for sure um so she's very popular and this school actor release will be very popular as well i will definitely try to get one but i mean i feel like it's just it's so hard because it's so like they always sell out so quickly and especially like a megan actual like licensed doll it's gonna be uh, yeah a hot item for sure but have you seen the movie i think the movie is hilarious and so good um really good honestly so i think it, it this collaboration makes sense is collector megan doll is amazing yes please um i just hope we get to see more of the actual doll soon and again the price point probably would be like 60 i mean it's just gonna be one doll so i don't think it'll be like 90 but like 60 you know probably like 50 60 um similar to other s singular releases with collector drops um and again probably gonna release next year realistically speaking next year because this year we have other collector drops happening and so. the lastly yes we have the grand reveal that actually just happened yesterday of our first look at the brand new hocus pocus collector three pack releasing um at the end actually when is it when are they releasing apparently october 4th they're releasing and the price is 125 us dollars but the good thing here which i think is so amazing is that this three pack apparently will be also sold on amazon in other retailers so what that's usually not the case with collector releases usually they are mattel creations exclusive usually they are like a one and done deal you know like there's a very limited limited quantity um but maybe because it's disney they want it to be like um more available to other people maybe disney is treating this more of like a like a playline release you know like not just like not really like a collector release um but the price point is still like really high for like so I, honestly i don't know but um this is what it says so apparently they might actually end up also releasing on amazon and like other uh websites like you know walmart so uh if that actually happens what like that would be like how amazing would that be um again still they're expensive but like you are getting three dolls and like 125 especially also comparing this three pack to the previous release that happened with disney store um they had the whole uh they made uh, all of the three sisters into dolls but they were sold separately and each of the dolls individually cost like around 100 um or more and if you yeah i mean so looking at that comparison obviously this three pack for monster high definitely is like much more worth it because you're spending only 125 for all three of the dolls um, like at one point like a like all at once so um this is very exciting like honestly um i think the dolls look really cute the faces do capture the characters the hair really cool um the shoes look really good and um one of the sisters i forget whose name what her name is but uh who, what's her name winnie winnie and mary winnie and mary uh winnie and sarah have okay okay so winnie and sarah the two like in the middle and the one on the right they have the g1 bodies but then mary she's on the left she has a new curvy g1 body mold so that's again g1 body mold a curvy g1 body mold so very interesting um yeah so that's a new body for her and then the other two have the you know skin, skinny bodies that makes sense um yeah, i think the dolls look cute uh again the faces look good the hair looks good um i think the really chunky gold accessory belts that they all have um maybe not really like for every like i think they look a little bit ch too chunky um and they're just gold uh but they look okay and again i think like 125 for all three of these dolls i think i have like yeah it's a good it's kind of a good deal right it's a it's a good deal <laughs> so let's see if they actually end up releasing also on walmart or you know amazon because if they do come to amazon like how amazing would that be i actually could get them like that would be so cool uh but yeah again releasing october 4th and 125 
US dollars. But uh, what do you think of this first look at the sisters, Hocus Pocus sisters? Um, they look, yeah, they're, they're really cute. I have to say, they do look really cute. So, phew, okay, well, that was so much Monster High news to catch up on. But what are you most excited for? Let me know down below. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to. And of course, so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time stay peachy. Kisses.